What's going on? My name's Justin with The Art of Repair. We are doing that European tour. We're getting around the Netherlands and surrounding areas right now. And we are in Amelo in the Netherlands. Sorry if I butchered that name. We are visiting iPhone Repair Twente, right? Check it out. And uh, you know, I'll tell you guys, the very first thing that I noticed when I got here was that they have amazing neighbors. They've got an entire, you know, discount electronics store. They got the camera store. Look, look at that. Look at the zoom head on in there. And they got something special here. Y'all know I like to show off the shops. They have their own elevator. Do you have your own elevator? <laughs> That's not exactly what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, but let's head on up the stairs here and let's check it out. You know, I'm sure you guys have noticed that I've been changing cameras left and right. I've been using a GoPro. I was trying my, my mirrorless, you know, seeing what the deal here is. And it just feels like the iPhone might be the best thing to make videos with. <laughs> So let's check it out. I'll be honest, like I said, this is this is a very, very impressive location inside and outside, starting from the outside, coming from the inside. Look at all this. Look at these awesome displays. I am just completely and thoroughly impressed here. Have, have you guys seen anybody set, to like, set this up like this before? He's got, uh, he's got cool little pallets in here. Everything's kind of like custom made, you know what I'm saying? It's not that generic slat wall that you see across stores that are just covering everything. Check this out. Shh. We've got the iPhone museum. Y'all never saw that coming, did you? No, you didn't. You didn't even know there was an iPhone museum in here. <laughs> so let's head on through here. Let's take a look, see, see if there's anything else cool. Show off the shop. Oh, oh there we go. Check out these accent track lights right here. These are, you said these were custom made lights, right? These lights, you made them? I refurbished them myself. Sweet. All right, let's head on over here, check out some of this other stuff. Here we go. I was just talking about those pallets and the way they were making displays with them. How creative is this? You don't have to spend thousands of dollars, guys. Just, just, just be creative, you know what I mean? Hanging from the ceiling, we got the boxes. Man, this whole store is just beautiful. Beautiful. Now, here's the part I really like. I've been talking in here and all kinds of stuff here in the Netherlands that everybody loves this open kitchen concept. I literally said it in the last shop video, but this one takes it to the next level. Look at all this. If you come get something done, client sits here, you sit here, you fix the phone right in front of them, full transparency. Hint, hint, that's what we're talking about today, guys. We're talking about transparency. We're talking about how to show our clients how awesome we are. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and try to set the camera down here. By the way, if you don't mind giving me a minute or two before we move on, let's talk for a second. My name's Justin from The Art of Repair, and I'd like to show off some footage from the repair course I'm currently doing in the Netherlands. It's a culmination of all my channel content plus unreleased techniques and knowledge brought together in a start to finish type scenario where I make sure you don't miss anything important and you learn the skills needed to grow as an electronics repair tech, be it in my level one or two course or even in my level two to three boot camp course. This right here, this is the art of repair course that everyone's been asking me about doing for the last few years. So. A little about the course. Like I said, there will be a level one and two course, which will cover the software as well as the proper staging and technique required to take apart and put together really anything you want. This basics course contains a surprising amount of fundamental level three training and science that I think that, you know, most other schools just kind of leave out. I'm putting it all in there because I believe in teaching repair through a level three lens. It's a pillar of the art of repair methodology. Now, I think more interesting to most of you will be my level two to three course, which overlaps the last class with a primer on aspects of level two repair that directly correlate to your level three skills. You will learn the hand skills needed to complete most of the soldering repairs you encounter, as well as truly understanding why I think my techniques are a true art form. Alongside turning you into a soldering artist, you'll learn enough electrical theory to get you around town and back out again you will be surprised how far understanding a few simple concepts will fully change your repair game. Honestly, I can't even wait to teach these courses because it allows me to be my authentic self and share with the repair community. I really hope to see you in there. And uh, we got a question to answer. 
All right, give me just a second, make sure I don't kill this thing. There we go. All right, guys, so y'all know the drill. I didn't just come here to show off the shop, I came here to help out. Just like we always do, we spend the entire day hanging out, working with the employees, working with the owner, working with technicians, just answering any kind of question possible. But there is one big question that my friend here wanted to ask. What do we got? Well, we do the repairs with the customer in front of us. Mm -hmm. In the future, we want to do it, uh, board level repairs, with the customer watching it. Mm, okay. Take it to the next level. So right now, just, just how I was showing you guys a second ago, they kind of have this open technician bar area. They've already got a lot of transparency. You know, when I read the questions before I come, I've always kind of got this thought about it and you know, what it's gonna be, what it's not gonna be. And then, you know, I always get to the place and I'm already, you know, my mind's already blown, you know what I mean? But what that tells me is we need to take this to the next level. We've already got the open area. We've already got the micro soldering in the open. The customer can literally walk over here right now, but how are we gonna kick that up to the next level? Well, in my opinion, we need to scale this. And this is something you guys know that I have been just talking and talking about. How do you scale your micro soldering, right? Well, the first thing, man, I'll tell you, you need to scale this. You need to take over here and you need to actually make here. Let me, let me grab the camera. Let me show what we got going on here. Let's, let's get some a little more in depth here going on. So right now you've got, you've got your camera, you've got your microscope, you've got your whole setup and everything. You've got, the, you got the, 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 the monitor over here and stuff. Why not take this entire setup, right? Move it over here and take that camera, the, the actual camera you have on there. Why not mount it on a monitor facing them? You see what I'm saying? Right, so at that point, we were also kind of talking about the, the speed at which you work, right? And one of your concerns was that the, the, the technician won't be able to do it in the amount of time that the customer is there. The truth is, if you focus on learning your hand skills and you focus on getting yourself up to point, most of the time, a B2B micro solder or anybody else is actually not going to spend more than about 30 minutes on the repair anyway before they know fix it, unless you're in some kind of weird data recovery scenario. So how long would you say they sit here and work with a customer? About 30 to 45 minutes sometimes? With a coffee, they wait for 30, 35 minutes, maybe an hour maximum. Right, right, right. So if your technicians were introduced to this type of work in the beginning and you hired somebody in, they were able to do it from the jump street, right? Then you'd be able to do board repair within 30 to 45 minutes with the customer sitting right there in front of them and you would have your transparency, right? Yeah. There we go. So right off the rip, we've got one really big thing that we can do here with that, but we're going to take it to another level. We're going to, we're going to move this thing forward. This is the social media age. Do you have a YouTube channel yet? We have a YouTube channel. Are you doing micro soldering on it? No, we don't do micro soldering on it. Why not? Um, I don't know. We just do some nice stuff on YouTube. Ah, stuff that looks cool, right? Yeah. Okay, well, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Going into the future, if you're thinking about marketing, if you're thinking about pushing yourself and your store as your own brand, you need to kind of get out there, right? It's not enough just to, to sit here and make pretty videos and do the thing and put them on YouTube. It's not enough to have your employees sit over here, work with the people and show them the stuff because at the end of the day, you're literally only showing that one customer one time. And the beauty and power of the internet is to show everybody, to, to use your everyday natural content, to use your everyday repairs as your social media marketing. Do you see what I'm saying? So with that, you could actually probably even set up more cameras over here if you wanted. Do you see what I'm saying? Maybe maybe just facing the technician, right? And they can actually sit here and do basic repairs for things when they come out, and then you guys can upload them on YouTube. Or go live. Yeah, I mean, literally, you could go live. Like, yeah. say for instance, the customer is sitting here and you, you wanna go live, you can even say to them, hey, you know, we sometimes fix this stuff live. Do you, do you wanna fix this phone live? Yeah. You know, if you've got the confidence in your ability to do the repair, that. That really shouldn't be an issue, you know what I mean? Because you've already got somebody watching, right? Yeah. There you go. So that's a whole nother level of content. Bring it over here. 
Let your level two technician start learning the level three stuff in the beginning. You guys know I'm harping on that, you know what I'm saying? But it's for a good reason. We're gonna keep talking about it forever, but let them get started on it. Let them do it directly in front of the customer. Turn the monitors toward them, or at least mirror them. Mirror, like mirror what you have over here on both sides. Maybe, maybe you have a monitor facing them here. Maybe you have another monitor facing right there. Or maybe you have something coming down from the ceiling facing them that they can see what's going on. Do you see what I'm saying? And then it, I guess we had another camera on for something. <laughs> My little GoPro probably turned off. But moral of the story is it's easy to show. You just need to figure out where you're actually trying to show it to because this whole transparency that you're talking about is only in the store and it's only benefiting you right here, right now. And if you truly have the confidence to put yourself out there like that with the customer here, then putting it on the internet should be no problem. Do you see what I'm saying? And that's where you can start. You can start boosting those on your Facebook. You can start putting them on the Instagram or TikTok or any of that stuff. And you can actually put money on them and boost your actual work. One of, the, one of the biggest things that I hear from shop owners about content generation for their shop and you know making marketing and all that kind of stuff is, Justin, it's so hard to make content. It takes too long to edit. It takes too long this. It takes too much that. Well, if you build it directly into the way that you run your shop, now your marketing is taken care of. So with that, I, uh, I do believe that we have answered this question. It's a very really simple question, but it's also like there, there's multiple layers to it, right? So I do believe that we figured out what we're gonna do next here. We're gonna get some more stations over here. We're gonna get some more cameras on it. We're gonna show people what's going on. And you know, interesting enough, one of the concepts that I also like to talk about is teaching to learn, right? Yeah. So the more that your employees or technicians or you know whatever you want to call it are working with the people generally that reinforces the information that they they already have whether that is good information or bad information right so as long as you are working with them to make sure that all the information they have is proper and they're continually you know teaching it to the clients themselves, just like how we were having that water damage discussion earlier with somebody, they, they, were, they felt very informed. Yep. And that was just having a casual conversation with one of your clients. Yep. Those are the kind of conversations you want them to yep. have with the and clients. We, we have this conversation with the normal repairs. We want to have it also with the board repairs. Exactly, it's all yep. transparency yep. From, from microscope to end client, full transparency. And I think that's what you were aiming at getting today. Yep. So, yeah. uh, so, so with that being said, I do believe that we are pretty much done here today, but I did want to ask a question of my own, Bart, how do you feel about today? Did you have fun today? Cause I sure had fun today. We had a great day today. Oh, okay. It was really, uh, we learned a lot. We talked a lot. Uh, customers learned a lot from you, from everybody and the employees. They, I think they are, are getting more inspired. Uh, for the future. That right there, that last thing you said, being more inspired for the future, I think that's, that's actually what makes me the, the happiest to hear. You know what I mean? Um, you know, as I've been traveling, visiting the shops, that's, that's a common thing that I'm starting to hear and it's making me want to visit more and more and more. And I, I genuinely just want to say thank you for inviting me today. And I know that we are going to be friends for the rest of our entire lives. And I appreciate you, man. Thank you for having me come through, brother. Thank and, you. uh, <clears throat> I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to do the whole liking, subscribing, notifying. I almost forgot. I always forget to do this at the end of the video, but y'all know, just you know, like, subscribe, notify, do that whole thing. And you know, I genuinely don't think a little show thing like this exists in our industry. So can you guys do me one more solid favor and just share this, put it in the groups, see what they think. Until next time, I'll see you later.